Alright guys, welcome to another video. Now today, we are uh, having a look at the released information surrounding the first DLC uh, pack for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, it seems to be a good one in the department of a certain one. So, so yeah, so um, I think it was la last week or so, um, what, uh, one of the guys, uh, where is he? Bloody blah, ignore me, ignore me. Yeah, uh, oh. clicked off the wrong thing. Yeah, so, um, so, so Scott Lowe, um, from Activision, the, who is the communications manager, he said, uh, so he put out a, uh, tweet saying, and following a, a, a keynote, uh, I believe, conference or something, uh, something like that. He said, um, so, so he stuck, so on, uh, so he said on Twitter, I, I do believe, uh, to help kick off PlayStation Experience in San Francisco today, we are thrilled to share the first details of Call of Duty Black Ops 3's first DLC map pack and some exciting news for the upcoming Call of Duty World League season. So obviously we're not, we're not really bothered about the World League season, however, he did say, Revealed during this morning's keynote address, as, yeah, as I mentioned, the first four, the first of four planned DLC map packs will will be Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Awakening, and it will arrive first on PlayStation 4. Sadly, Awakening features four new multiplayer maps, and they include. Are you ready for this? Boom! So there we go. So. They so they include Skyjacked, Rise, Splash, Gauntlet, and the next chapter in the Black Ops Three Zombie Saga, the Eisen Dragon. Uh, Dragon. I think I've pronounced that right. So so yeah, as you can see on the screen, so we have so we have got the sort of uh, the poster which was which was released, uh, and it and so so at the top so we've got. I got the obviously the guy that's off the front cover, uh, obviously saying Awakening, um, which are Awakening is in Awakening. If you sort of imagine it as Black, so Black Ops Three just come out and we're awakening from from the release and we're getting properly stuck into this. Now the so as you can see, so Skyjacks the first map. If we have a look here, the first map. <clears throat> Excuse me. Te now, what I believe it to be is a remake of the map, which loads of people. I don't know it was like Marmite either loved it or hated it, and the like the angles that people could come out of was mad. It was uh, hijacked, um, which was set on a, a luxury yacht, which had military intentions and communications definitely underneath. Um, and there was a server room. Um, there was a server room. In if you had, if you're looking down at a bird's eye view, the sort of one to the left, like so, if you have a bird's eye view, and you sort of got the long bit going across to the left of that building. In the in the back upstairs room, we had a server room and a control panel, and obviously behind that we had a helicopter. Now it's the Skyjack. This looks so flipping cool. So it's basically it reminds me of sort of the Helicarrier from um, Mar uh, Marvel, um, which uh, Shield own, which absolutely looks sick with those massive um, jet engines. So uh, thrusters. So what what's really cool about this map is it tends to be a map that is like because whereas the other maps are sort like maps te obviously are tied down to the ground and not moving. But Skyjacked actually moves, which is flipping so sick. And I can tell a lot of people are going to get annoyed by falling off of the map. Because, you know, on um, on this game now, you can jump uh, off of the map. And you have like three seconds to get back on. Um, I don't know why they've done that, really. Because it just means more people die. But I guess that's, they're the, that's the cool people that they are. So yeah, so the next map we get onto is called Rise. Now, Rise seems to be set in a, a mountainous area. Um, it's sort of like a, a, a building. Is it seems to be they've got uh, big buildings. 
Uh, to the right, I do believe that is some sort of crane or or something, something ridiculous like that. And um, and you can uh, you can see. Yeah, so so you can see that um, it's sort of you got the um, the pipes which you saw in uh, Bomb Warfare Three on Har's hat. Um, those pipes which look uh, look cool and were sort of like bullet hundred percent bulletproof because it's concrete apparently. Um, and yeah, so so that's over there. Yes, yeah, so that that is very 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 cool indeed. So that so then we get on to splash. Which is the next one, which is set in a water park, uh, an aqua park, um, whatever you guys call it, which has, so it, so it seems to be, so straight away, so the, to the left at the top, we can see a skull, um, which has sort of got a bandana on, which is, um, reminds me of pirates, tends to be. So I can imagine some snipers wanting to get up there potentially, if you can, as I'm imagining uh, that walkway or that. Um, that walkway, that walk, uh, brown walkway, sorry, I can't even speak, will lead into a waterfall and then you'll be able to um, get up to uh, the skull and out of his mouth you'll be sniping people, so that will be very, very cool indeed. Then we get into the, the centre, which has tend to got uh, just your slides everywhere. Now, it's going to be interesting to see if the slides are actually incorporated into the map and help to, to move around parts of the map. It's going to be very interesting, and obviously with the swim swimming now and then, um, on Call of Duty, uh, it's, it's going to be very cool to see what they can do with it. Now, and uh, behind that, we have a pirate ship, which has been, which is looks absolutely huge, and has been engulfed by a massive octopus or a kraken or something, which is very very cool. So I, I'm not sure. I mean, Splash to me feels like. With the amount that we see in that picture, it could be quite a big map if they actually if they go if they go all out of it, which because they've got hot skyjacked, which is obviously a small map, rise, which I reckon will be a medium. It it won't be n nothing huge, but I, I reckon it'll be pro a small a small like a medium sized map, and then splash. Literally, they can go all out because you've got those slides which you could do stuff with. You've obviously got the water guns on the beach there, which they could do stuff with the skull. And obviously the pirate ship as well, but my personal feelings is that they're going to focus around the skull, the water slides, and the beach, and then you're sort of going to have the pirate ship in the backdrop, um, which, which is a I don't know. It depends. It, I think they should incorporate everything because it'll make it much much more fun to play for us as players and gamers. So we get on to the fourth multiplayer map, the last multiplayer map, which is called Gauntlet. Now, Gauntlet is a funny one because it's really interesting and important for the Call of Duties for or for maps in general. Because this is one, if you guys have played, um, what have you seen on my channel, um, Breakout, um, the new mode on Halo 5 where the map sort of changes little bits like every time you play it. So we're getting this with Gauntlet. So you've sort of got on the left, you've got a jungle area. And you've got your your icy um, Arctic one in the middle, and then to the right you've got a more urban uh, military base type feel. And what I feel with this is it it's gonna be I reckon it will be set in a biodome, and potentially I I don't think it will because basically the first multiplayer of the maps that are brought out for um, the game are ten are tend to be a map that is set in a part of the campaign. So, but with with uh, DLC, then go a bit a bit mad from that. So I'm I don't know. I'm thinking the 54 Immortals um, have that biodome. Could the biodome be incorporated into this, and could that map be set before the uh, the nuclear uh, whatever happened went off? A uh, nuclear meltdown happened. So yeah, I don't know. This um, it's opinion really. And then we get on to the the one that you guys are waiting for the most the new zombies map the eisen dragon i believe I, i'm probably saying that right which stands for the iron dragon now it, when you talk about things like iron this iron that um it tends to it relates to the um to the obviously uh, imperial german army during uh, the nazi uh, nazis uh, especially 
during uh, World War II. Now, as you can see with this map, straight away, I'm not, not many people have said this, but straight away to me, it feels like it's the the Castle Witch Ultron from Marvel. It's really weird with come from. It looks a bit like that to me. So yeah, so on the left we have a bell tower, uh, which is gonna tend to be a point where you're gonna get your snipers, like the snipers with the SVG and the PO6 and probably. Uh, the Locust as well, people are going to, oh, probably the Draken, because um, who doesn't love that? They're going to be getting up there and they're going to be picking off people right, left and centre. Now, behind that, we have a tower, which doesn't seem to fit in with the rest of the map. It looks a bit different from everything else. Now, is this sort of the the sign that this uh, the Zombies map is obviously set in a... A similar um, sort of in a more futuristic time than that of it obviously um, Shadows of Evil is set in the, the 1930s slash 1940s um, so something something weird going on back on the, in the background um, and to be honest though um, I, I believe it's carrying on with the Shadows of Evil thing but I'm I don't know. It, uh, it's ever so hoping that it's. Pr I'm hope. Oh no 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 no! Surely, no. Yeah, because Shadows of Evil is sort of like your transit type thing, and then they can go off with the storyline. Yeah. So this is set for all the characters that we loved best: Tank, uh, Tank Dempsey, Takio, Nikolai, and Lichtofen. Obviously, younger Lichtofen now. Um, and then if you guys uh, look, so we sort of got, is it a bridge or a building um, to the to the bottom right, which has been sort of destroyed, um, looks to be, we've got, obviously got the castle in the middle, which is heavily fortified, anti-aircraft gun on the left. Then in the background, we look, if you look very closely through the mist and uh, the snow, you can see a missile. Now... Is this sort of um, the Nazis' way of sort of countering the uh, the sort of atomic bomb that the uh, Americans used on um, on Japan um, in Nagasaki, um, or and oh, the, uh, the other the other place? I'm just going other place. No, um, oh, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, yeah, so but anyway, is this sort of their way? Is this a sort of secret testing facility for WMDs? Uh, Possible atomic weapons which could be used against the Americans because obviously they knew the Americans would be their biggest fight as they have been uh, for several centuries. <laughs> so so yeah, um, yes, yeah, so that that's really what what's going on there in the zombies map. But it looks this DLC could tend to be one of the the. The best one on Jets, obviously, Skyjacks, which is the remake of Hijacked, which I'm really, really excited about. Rise looks quite cool, could be uh, with the snow, especially. Um, Splash, very, very. Um, I don't know. I'm feeling quite pessimistic about it, to be honest. Um, I believe that it's good. it could just be quite a small map, and the water sm slides may not work, which would be annoying because they this is their chance to go big with the map. Gauntlet, which looks incredible, massive thing for multiplayer maps, and obviously, Zombies, the Eyes and Draken. I probably pronounced that all wrong, as my my friend uh, did German, and he could probably uh, correct me on that. The Iron Dragon, uh, which looks really cool, really interested with the Easter egg, see what's happening. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the this video, feel free to leave a like. To show uh, to show me that you enjoyed this this look at the uh, first DLC for Black Ops Three, um, yeah. So I'm really hyped for it. Hope you guys are hyped for it. It's been great with you, awesome people as always. I'm that guy Plasmic, and I'll see you.